Hello everyone, we will continue the change request to as a part of sales order report. And in the previous video, we declared the internal table work area structure, which will be used to get the invalidate line items. And in the function module, we declared on the execute button, the invalidate line items should not appear. Now, what I will do in the another session, I will open in the debugging mode and parallelly, we will write the code. So I will open in, a, in the debugging mode in a parallel session. I will go to execute. Now I will go inside the function module. I will put a breakpoint here so that this whole code will execute. And in LT output, we have the sales document number and line item number. Now we will fetch the data from invalidate table. Now, once this whole logic will execute, we will fetch the data from invalidate table. For based upon the data present in LT underscore output. And you all know, whenever you are going for for all entries in, what is the prerequisite? We need to check internal table should not be, should be not be initial. Means internal table must have that data. Internal table should not be blank. So I will write if LT underscore output is not initial. Is not initial. For every if there is a and if. Now we will fetch the data from invalidate table. We are going for how many columns? Two columns. VBELN POSNA. From, I will pass the name of my invalidate table, which has the invalidate line items. This is the invalidate table. Now I will store into internal table, into table. What is the name of internal table we declared? LT underscore invalidate. Now based upon what, what is the syntax you all know? For all entries in, what is the name of internal table? LT underscore output. Now for this database table, what will be the input? Input will be your LT output. LT output, if I will show you in debugging mode, LT output VBELN, LT output post. Because these two columns will act as an input. So now I will write where VBELN is equal to LT output VBELN and how I will give the second column and post R is equal to LT output post R. So from in this internal table, in this in whatever is in this internal table, in LT output we have four records. You all know input is on the right hand side. So what is LT output VBELN? This 77, 77, 78, 78. What is post now? 10, 20, 10, 20. So these two will act as a input for which table? This table. These two will act as a input for which table? This table. These two, then these two. So these two columns will act as a input to fetch that data from invalidate table. Now, whenever these two will act as a input 
for this invalidate table, it will go to this database table. If I will show you database table, this is our database table. So whatever the VBELN and POSTNAR will act as a input, I will copy from here itself. 7778. I will write 7778. And what is the POSTNAR? POSTNAR is 1020. 1020. I will go to execute and you can see we are getting two line items. So these two line items will be in this internal table. Now we will compare both the internal tables and we will delete the matching records. Just see how I will write the logic. I will write loop LT underscore output, which has how many number of records? Four records. Into, I will put into work area. For every loop, there is a end loop. Now the question comes, your second internal table will go for loop or will go for read table? Second internal table, we can blindly, blindly go for read table, read table. Just see, this is your database table. Now, we are passing, if I will go for this, we are passing VBELN also, we are passing POSTNAR also. Just see, if you are passing both and both are the primary keys, how many matching records will come? Always, always single record will come. Whenever you have single matching record, always, always you can go for read table, read table. There's no need for the loop at all. You can understand in such way. Suppose I'm going VBELN 77. What is POSTNAR? POSTNAR is 10. How many records? Single record. If I will go for order number 77, line item number 20, how many matching record? Single. Anyways, this is not in the table. If I will go for 78, 10, 78, 20, how many matching record? Single matching record. So I can blindly, blindly go for read table. There's no need for the loop at all. So I will go for read table. So I will write here read table, read table, LT underscore invalidate into LWA underscore invalidate. And you all know we need to write what? With key. We need to pass both the things. If you will pass only one thing, then it is not a single record. We need to pass both VBELN and POSNA. Where VBELN is equal to first work area, VBELN, POSNA is equal to first work area, POSNA. Both things you need to compare. If you will go for only one thing, yes, then you should go for loop because you will not get a single matching record. Now, if the record is matching between both the internal tables, yes, we will simply, simply go for what? If size sub RC equal to zero. If the record is matching, it should not, not display in the output. It means we will simply, simply delete from the internal table. Just see here. First record, 7710. 7710. Is it in the database table? Yes, 7710. If I will execute. 
7710 is in the database table. So whenever this loop and read will execute, size sub RC will be zero. Now for the second record, if I will go for this, 7720 size sub RC will not be equal to zero. 7810 size sub RC will not be zero. 7820 size sub RC will be zero. So whenever we have size sub RC is zero, we will delete, delete. And you all know it is covered in the ABAP programming internal table operation delete. You can delete based upon where condition also. You can delete based upon index also, index also. Now it is totally your wish. You can delete on index also. You can delete based upon your where condition also. Now, I will write a logic. Suppose I will go for index. That is the preferred way always. I am writing delete LT underscore output. We need to delete the record from LT output, not from LT invalidate. See, LT output is ultimately passing to LT final, which we are using in the ALD. So I will write delete LT output index LV underscore index. Now many people will ask, what is this LV index? You have not declared. I will declare LV underscore index data lv underscore index type i you all know i is integer in case of integer there is no need to specify the length as it is a complete data type now i will write important learning will be there i will simply write lv underscore index is equal to psi tab x. You all know psi tab x always give the index whatever the current record is going inside the loop, current index of the record. And have you seen? I have written this immediately after LT output because we want to delete from this internal table. So we want the index of this particular internal table. Many people, what they will do, they will write this statement here. Now, if you will go for this particular thing, you will get a runtime error or you will get a wrong output itself because this side tabix is for LT invalidate. You all know side tabix always always return the current index of the loop so for this side tabix will be different for this side tabix will be different so we need to take the side tabix of this outer internal table so i am storing into one variable and then i am deleting now if you do not want to go for index, no problem. You can delete based upon where condition also. Suppose if you do not want to go for this, you can delete based upon where condition also. Delete internal table where VBELN is work area VBELN postna and we go for and. And post NAR is equal to LWA output post NAR. See, while delete, please, please pass, pass both the things. Otherwise, it will delete both the records. Suppose simple example. What is the data in LT output? 77, 10. 77, 20. You need to pass both the things. If you will only pass 77, it will delete both. And that is not our requirement. We need to delete a specific record which is matching. So it is totally your wish. But generally, index as high performance as compared to where condition. So I will prefer just go for index. I'll check the syntax. 
okay lv index is already declared okay i already declared previously in the previous case study suppose i will write underscore t in the parallel cursor we used already underscore t and many people will say we are getting runtime error we didn't have referred the index just see you are going for index at what position if i will write index here guarantee in one scenario i will get a runtime error because you are trying to delete from another internal table itself yes i will check the syntax and i will go for activate now same to same logic i can write in class method also it is good if both are in sync anyways that is commented part but still we will write there also same to same logic i will paste here also i will paste the logic suppose firstly i will paste the declarations now i will paste the logic as well same to same logic is there just we used a different modularization technique i will activate i will store into transport request okay i think i forgot to declare lty invalidate Yes, we should copy this source. I will activate now. I think one end if statement is extra. Okay. I forgot to copy the if statement also. Okay, this logic also. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we have written the logic to delete the invalidate line items from the lt underscore output internal table which is in the function module so what we did we fetched the data from invalidate table based upon the sales document number and post nar of lt underscore output internal table we applied loop and read table and yes second internal table guaranteed can go for read table yes because we have a single matching record and yes whenever size sub rc0 we deleted that particular record and you can go for delete based upon index also you can go for delete based upon their condition also in the next video we will understand the full flow in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it will be automatically clear. So that's it in this video. Thank you.